Hello YouTube, I'm back with the next Mallard Pony review, and today I'm reviewing Somnambula. This is one of the few human characters in the show, and of course, human villains in the show. I don't necessarily count the wishes as human per se, because they're not entirely human. At least to my knowledge. Because they said they're witches, so I don't think that entirely counts. They're not pure human, like even Somnambula is purely a human. Of course, we find out she's a lot older than we think. No telling how exactly how old, but she ends up getting so much power that she ends up restoring her youth again. And of course, she makes it very. If you're, I mean, if you're going to do something like this, you might as well make it as stealthy as possible. And Somnambula proves that this is how to do it. She brings in a nice, beautiful tune from a bird she's forcing to sing. She draws them to it. They find out where the source is, and basically end up uh, being manipulated after that. So that she can take their uh, their magic to make herself look younger, and it works. Works out quite well, and it's very simple. Just goes so uh, keep it simple, stupid, and applies to everything, including uh, evil plots to take over the world. But even then, yeah, these don't work out all that well in part two. Although hers, hers lasts what four parts, I believe. Even the boys get involved in this. They get manipulated into. Their favorite, because basically she makes an entire circus out of them to, and she makes a circus, and then all their heart's desires come true, but that's really just a distraction, so she can, uh, out of this, pretty much, they're, the, they're just left to have fun, really. So obviously, they don't have magical powers, as far as we're aware, so, and they're only seen once, we never, we never see them again, so we have no idea, you know, how long they've, they've known the ponies they know, but you get to see a little bit of their interests, and they make sense. I mean, you know, Tex as uh, a ranch, if you will. I forget who it is. Uh, Salty, I think is his name. The other one is uh, more towards sailing, so things like... Uh, I forget all their names, because they only, they only get, like, only a few of them, I think, actually get mentioned when they first arrive. But it's impressive. I mean, the fact that she can take... Something as innocent as a bird and a circus and combine them together to create a devious ploy to get her youth back. And we see just how frightening things can be on both ends of the spectrum. Both with Zimnambiel, how old she actually is. She's a disaster when you see her. And even the male ponies, they're the only ones that get to find out the hard way that those they've come to know don't look the way they do after they're... And then they have to have to get some nebula to give up her give up the magic she's stolen from them. So I mean this probably gives you some idea. She's quite old, no telling how old, maybe a couple thousand years old. We don't really know. It may just also be she's not really as old that old per se, but it's more of yeah you know, yeah she's pretty she's pretty old. I'd, Arguably, no no idea how old. Maybe hundreds, somewhere in there. We don't know. We don't see her after this point. After her little uh, rampage is over. But she makes it effective. I mean, four, ep if I'm right, four episodes, or even two episodes, she ends up getting, luring them in as, and just kind of waiting to see what happens. Waiting for them to come to her. Works out pretty well. I mean, going to them is probably going to get as dirt obvious as possible. That uh, You're after them, so they're going to try to fight back. And they would. But they didn't fight back because they were curious to where the noise came from. They didn't, she didn't add anything uh, over the top. It was just make the birds sing, draw them in, and then keep them there long enough for her, long enough to take whatever magical powers they have and uh, make restore her youth. It worked out really well. So she's, we don't see a whole lot of her. She's kind of tries to play nice, but we don't really know. I mean, it works. Definitely, even not the most exciting character in terms of, uh, you know, compared to some of the other characters we've had where they go nuts. They, you know, take over the world sort of scenario with her just going like Grogar, for example, who lashes out. He's probably a little more exciting to watch than uh, Sanamula just kind of takes her time and uh, doesn't really do a whole lot until until she actually gets the pony she's looking for. So you know, not a bad uh, not a bad villain, but uh, probably not the most exciting. 
might be worthwhile to watch if you're not into the need something a little bit different, something that's not quite the uh, the typical ways of a villain. As I said, take over the world. That's probably that's pretty much the typical way to do it. So that's my review on Simnambula from the My Little Pony G1 TV series. Thanks for watching.